Here we are, we're back again. <laughs> Put your back into it. <laughs> oh snap! I was right behind it and you almost got me. Well guys, we finally got our trailer put away. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people were asking, friends, people on the road, about uh, our toilet situation, how it worked out. Um, we very concerned about that, at least I was during the winter time. I did, the last thing we wanted was to have to drag one of those five gallon buckets around. I did find something that I was kind of concerned that if it would work or it wouldn't work, and uh, we took it with us and we found out while we were out that it worked really well. We uh, bought a backpack that we carry on the back of the Jeep, spare tire, uh, and we carry just everything in here. Um, of course, we been use kitty litter, and yeah, I smacked the kitty too. You're funny. You know, I can't help but laugh. Yeah, I'm sorry. She just thinks she's funny. It, I am funny. Uh -huh. keep Everybody says so. And our toilet fits, it just fits right into a bag. We've got extra extra toilet bags in there and everything like that. A few moments, I'll show you how that sets up, how it, how it breaks down, and uh, we're very pleased with it. It worked really well. It worked a lot better than I thought it would, and it was a very in inexpensive option for our toilet. Now I'm going to show you how we put this thing together and uh, show you why we like it so much. It fits right in this little bag here. It actually comes with its own storage bag. Uh, I don't use this storage bag and the reason why is because I don't know what I did with it. It's gone. It comes with one roll of uh, biodegradable bags. Like this. We have a bottom, you slide the bottom in and push it down, it just clips into place. Your bag goes right in and over. The top, the top will just clip on there and between the bottom and the top it makes it really nice and sturdy. You actually have a lid which closes and it closes, it, it closes really tight actually. So um, it's got a very tight seal and then when you go to, go to put it away, Take, take the top back off, fold the bag up and tie it, which is inside, inside our backpack. The bottom just right out, just like that. Everything folds back up again. And it's right back into our backpack, along with uh, all the other garbage and stuff like that. We make a stop at the first dumpster. That's how we do it. She's gonna show you how we, uh, how we operate the bathroom. Okay, this is our tri this is our 230 uh, shower stall, shower bathroom stall, changing room comes off the side on the driver's side. You can keep it on the driver's side of the uh, trailer, and uh, this is our bathroom. Let me show you. <gasps> Gary! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Close that. <laughs> so. I'll let T talk about our bathroom situation. We are going to talk about the uncomfortable thing of actually going to the potty on the road. And it is an uncomfortable situation. Nobody likes to talk about it, but it is one of the most asked questions that we've had from friends and family. So we are gonna just show you how we use this little toilet. It's a windy day, so our shower stall is, uh, is blowing all over the place and we're half on concrete, but just go with it and use your imagination. Um, so we set this up in our shower stall. As you can see, it is here on the ground. Uh, it does help if you're in an RV park and you park near the sewage drainage uh, and maneuver your shower stall over that because then you can just um, use that for number one and I'll show you that in a minute. But this toilet, um, I really do love it. It's very, very easy to use. And it is also at I mean, it may look really, really short. So it is at the proper positioning um, for proper potty going, <laughs> I guess you could say. We're going to the bathroom, we're doing number two. This is actually the way we are meant as human beings, our bodies are meant to do number two. So it may look really, really low and uncomfortable, but trust me, once you get used to using it this way, you will wonder why you are sitting up so high uh, when you're at home. So, um, I love this. As I said, it works really, really great when you're done. Um, I usually use a, a wipe. Um, I also have uh, another solution for that if you don't want to use that. But when you're done, take your kitty litter and we have a little scoop here and you just cover your business 
and it's ready for the next person to go. I find that this kitty litter actually works really, really well. Um, it is uh, recycled corn cobs, but I think what works best, if you ask me, is pine needles. Pine needles, uh, shredded pine cones, those work fantastically. Um, I do have one issue with this toilet. I mean, it is pretty good and I really, really like it. But my one issue with this toilet is this little latch here. This latch goes in and it fits very tightly, which is great. And, and you want it to fit tightly, obviously. You don't want, you know, flies or anything like that. The problem is getting it to open back up is pretty hard. It's, it's not that easy and I find that it makes my fingers a little sore. So I really think that, you know, the latch could improve. And I found that a lot of times, I just didn't latch it all over the way. Uh, you know, I didn't push it all the way down. And um, I, I would say that that's my only complaint about it. Other than that, I absolutely love it. And um, it holds a lot of weight, you know, it's not flimsy, it's very, very sturdy. So I think it's great. Gary actually found a really great urinal that I think works really well. I think a lot of people use the Go Girl, the Shiwi, you know, all of those are wonderful. Uh, what we found here, this little urinal is fantastic. And it works both for women and for men. And I think we used it almost equally. Gary used it just as much as I did. He has his and I have mine. Obviously, we're not sharing the same one. But, um, you know, of course you could if you're that close of a couple. Then sure, why not? We're not judging. Um, so this urinal is fantastic and it comes like this. It has its own little bag. It comes with, I think it came with a couple of little wipes as well, but this urinal expands and I did have some anxiety when I was first using it because I was worried that it was not going to hold, you know, on a full bladder. I was kind of worried about accidents, but this unit pops open and expands and, and it actually holds a lot of water. I mean, you know, on a full bladder, you're thinking it's gonna overflow. We have about, um, how much water this here? Is, uh, probably half a gallon. So it's about a half a gallon of water. Yeah. And we'll just see how much we can get in it. I mean, it's, I, at least, it's a lot. at least a full quart. I if think not at least, a little bit more, yeah. I at, least at least a full so quart. So it holds quite a bit. Um, it holds a lot. And so my other issue, you know, besides worrying about whether it was going to hold a full bladder's worth, is that the lid holds um, very tight. So, you know, in the stall, I was worried that, okay, what if it tilts over before I get a chance to put my, you know, pants back up and, and all of that stuff. But even if it tilts over, it, it barely, barely, leaks i mean if if at all so you're not going to end up tilting it over and then having a big spill the other thing that i found that um that i really appreciated and i i did use a lot but i used um definitely occasionally when when i needed it and i found a little portable uh bidet and it's made by a company called tushy and you can put this on your backpack it's got like a little carabiner here and um you know sometimes Sometimes it doesn't come out all nice and neat in one little package. I'm just gonna say it. There, I said it. Uh, and sometimes it's a little messy. So I found that this really did help a lot and it's expandable. Whoops, like this. And um, let's just put some water in this and then I can show you how that works. My lovely assistant here will do that for me. <laughs> so we're gonna fill this with water. It holds what? Yeah, about two cups. Uh, two cups approximately. Two, maybe three. So I would keep this in there, uh, you know, along with uh, everything else. And then, you know, if I was having a hard time with the wipey wipey, um, this is wonderful because you get a nice little squirt here. And I mean, it and it gives a nice pressure depending on how, uh, how hard you uh, press it. This thing, fantastic. And we'll put the information for this uh, in our show notes as well. And it worked wonderful. So um, that's it. That's our business. Now it's your business. <laughs> and hopefully it helps you uh, while you're out on the road. Hey guys. So thank you so much for watching the video. And we hope you 
uh, enjoyed it and also got some really great information for your trailer for your travels uh, we really enjoyed creating it for you and uh, so big shout out to you and also a big shout out to Wendy and Teresa for introducing us to uh, my new favorite product and uh, I want to show you how it works so I'm gonna see if I can uh, carry it hey Gary piss off <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I think he forgives me. <laughs> yeah, now my glasses are all wet. <sighs> you know, and the it, only thing I have is a piss off. <laughs> yeah, piss off. Great, thanks. It's an awesome. It's there it's really go. awesome, guys. You got to try it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll see you on the next one, guys. All right, see ya. <laughs> Don't be bad. <laughs>